Hello, welcome to another of our Explain About Whiskey videos. And today we're looking at the world of the independent bottling companies. And to be honest, this was an area we had no knowledge of or, or didn't even know it existed uh, when we were starting our whiskey journey all those years ago. And uh, now we've obviously discovered that it plays you know, a, a vital and very important uh, part uh, within the whiskey industry. But if I think back then, it was very confusing, uh, slightly daunting uh, world to, to enter. You know, what, what were they doing? What are they? You know, what, uh, what did they offer? But it's proved to be ultimately rewarding because, you know, they give so much uh, uh, to the whiskey industry. A lot of the companies uh, that, that you may have heard of, um, or if you do more research that you'll find, uh, come from historical roots as whiskey brokers. So they were uh, traditionally buying and selling casks uh, from all across Scotland and uh, to sort of other whiskey companies or blending houses, etc. But of course, the current thirst has created this market. So a lot of these companies have actually diversified uh, their business to sell directly to the customers through their own labels and uh, their, their sort of the, these independent bottles. So uh, most companies seem to follow uh, one of two tracks. So first track is they buy a partly matured cask and then continue the maturation or maybe switch it to another cask to do a finish. And the second track is that they send the empty casks directly to the distilleries to then be filled. And they then take them back and mature them themselves. So, of course, then what happens, they mature for however long they want. And then they carefully select when to bottle uh, the product. Uh, so the result is that you have this, of course, the distillery character, but with a little twist. It, it's had this sort of... Uh, so sort of little sort of extra from the independent bottler themselves, you know, because they may have put it into a different type of cask that the uh, the own brand, uh, the original distillery, um, may present it as. Um, of course, it could have had a different finish or whatever. But of course, the key features are um, that a lot of these are very small batch. Or, or even single cask in a lot of cases. They're bottled generally at higher strength. In, in a number of cases, it will be cask strength. So the cask, it naturally comes from uh, the barrel. Uh, generally non-chill filtered as well, and of natural color. And of course, because it's maybe a single cask or a small batch of two or three casks married together, it means there's very limited numbers. So uh, this is the beauty or the frustration of it, it depends on your outlook in life but uh, of course limited numbers mean when it's gone it's gone so but they do tend to offer very good value um, to, to the consumer so for example I've got the um, this is uh, one from Hunter Lang and this is their new Hepburn's Choice so they, they've rebranded here uh, so this is showing you this is showing you um, all that we spoke about. So on the label, it's showing you so when it was distilled, when it was bottled, it shows you the strength, which is 46%. It was distilled in 2011. It was bottled earlier this year, 2020. And it also shows you how many bottles, because this is a single sherry butt. So there's 888 bottles of this at 46%. Uh, so also from Talisker on the Isle of Skye. So it has all that Talisker character, that smoky, peppery uh, sort of notes that you know a lot of you will love uh, about Talisker, um, but it's been put into this single sherry cask. So Talisker have some sherry casks within their own uh, whiskies, of course, but don't release it as a single sherry cask. So this is like a snapshot of time, and this is what these independent bottlers uh, are offering. Just this diversity to the consumer and showing you things uh, that maybe the the original distillery or the brand owners are not doing themselves. So we hope you delve in 
and have a look around. Uh, look at online retailers or specialist retailers. This is where you'll find them. And we hope you can find uh, some independent bottlings uh, of your own choice. You know, there's really, you know, all distilleries all around Scotland. So you, you'll find something to cater for your own taste. So thanks for watching and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.